Community Comment. It's time for our first Community Comment segment of 2018. Our editorial about giving to those in need during the holiday season prompted this response from Sigrid Melvin. Thank you for giving the poor people of Michigan a chance to survive. I hope with your help, our monthly delivery of food items will last for years. Samuel Myers commented on our WXYZ editorial agenda for 2018. He said, great agenda for the state of Michigan. I hope our politicians and business leaders heard you loud and clear. Urban revitalization, education, and political civility are a winning combination to make us a competitive state with high standards on all levels. Meredith Cunningham wrote, thank you for giving sensible, intelligent, and thoughtful suggestions to leaders and citizens of Michigan. If we all follow your agenda, there's no reason we can't be one of America's top 10 states. Juliet Ebron had this reaction to our Newsmaker of the Year selection, Jerry Anderson of DTE Energy. Bravo, terrific pick. In a quiet but very effective way, DTE Energy under Jerry Anderson's leadership has raised the bar and become a forceful catalyst for change in Detroit. Just look at the transformation of the western edge of downtown. And finally, this email from David Dunville about our recent auto industry editorial. I had to laugh at the comment, Mobility City. Not only the city of Detroit, but the southeastern Michigan region is lacking true mass transit. Until the area has real mass transit and vehicle pricing comes down, we cannot use the words mobility city. Mr. Dumbville, as they say, end of chapter, end of book. That's it for now. Thanks for writing. I'm Chuck Stokes. We welcome your response to this community comment.